Today we are going to be looking at off camera flash and why you should give it a go. With the help of Dave here, my glamorous assistant, I'm going to try and explain why you should take your flash off camera. Dave isn't the best of models to use, he does tend to get a little bit fidgety, so don't worry, this is going to be a short clip. When the flash is on the camera, the part of the subject that is lit direct, is directly in front of the camera. So if the camera was here, the part of Dave that would be lit would obviously be there, if the camera was there, it would be there, and so on. The light from a flash used on camera is flat and two-dimensional. There are times when this type of lighting is preferable, such as with corporate portraits and headshots, but there are times when you want to get creative and use a more dramatic lighting. This is when you need to take the flash off camera. When you take the flash off camera, you can light the subject from whatever direction you choose. So you could light day from here, all the way around to there, all the way around to there. You could light him from above, from the side, from below, the choice is entirely up to you. Being able to light the subject in this way, you can dictate not only where you want the light, but also where you want the shadows. How dark the shadows are will depend on the direction of the light and also the intensity of the light, and when the flash is off camera, you have total control over this. Shadows create form and also add depth to a photo, which is why shadows are actually quite important. There is no right or wrong flash position or intensity when you take it off camera, and how you do it depends on the effect you're trying to achieve. Taking the flash off camera can result in some gritty, edgy and creative shots. So go on, give it a go.